Good day, everyone. So we will continue our video lesson or our lesson about multiplication of polynomials. So you've already learned about the loss of exponent and now we can apply that in multiplying polynomials, right? So let's proceed. So our topic for this multiplication of polynomials, we will discuss about multiplying monomials, multiplying two binomials, we will use FOIL method and distributive property. And also, we will multiply two or more terms. So here, in multiplying two or more terms, we can use the distributive property. All right, so let's proceed first to the multiplication of monomials. For example, when we multiply monomials, we can apply now our learnings from our previous lesson, which is the loss of exponent. So when we see problem like this, x squared times x cubed, we all know we will just add the exponents. Okay? We will just add the exponents. So we have 2 plus 3, that is equal to 5. And the final answer is x raised to 5. Next, a b cubed times a squared b. So again, we will just add the exponents. Okay, for a, 1 plus 2, and for b, 3 plus 1. Now, ganito. Kapag mag add tayo ng exponents, kailangan yung magkaparehas lang na variables ang ia add nyong exponent. Okay po. Kapag mag add tayo ng exponent, kailangan yung exponents lang ng a ang ia add nyo, and also yung exponents lang ng b ang ia add nyo. Okay? Huwag niyong paghalu-haluin lahat ng exponents ng lahat ng variables. Okay? Now, for A, we have 1 plus 2, that is equal to 3. For B, we have 3 plus 1, that is equal to 4. And the final answer is A cubed B raised to 4. Alright. Now, meron na tayong base, which is 4 and 5. 4x cubed times 5x squared. Same thing. Okay po? Same process lang. You will multiply the bases, yung mga number, and you will add the exponent. Okay, again, you will multiply 4 and 5, and you will add the exponents. 4 times 5, and then x raised to 3 plus 2. And the final answer is 20x raised to 5. Next, paano kung ganito? We have three monomials and yung isa, m lang yung variable and yung pangalawang monomial, dalawa yung variable which is m and n pero yung pangatlo na iba, n na yung variable niya. So ganito, parehas lang po. You will multiply all the bases, 3 times negative 2 times 4 and then you will add the exponents of the same variable. Just like this. 3 times negative 2 times 4 times m raised to 2 plus 1. Bakit 2 plus 1? Kasi itong unang m natin, um, it has 2 um, exponent. And dito sa m, meron siyang invisible 1. Kaya 1. Dito naman sa n, we have n cubed and n raised to 7. Kaya 3 plus 7. So the final answer is 3 times negative 2 times 4, that is equal to negative 24. And then 2 plus 1 for m, that is equal to m cubed. 3 plus 7 for n, that is equal to n raised to 10. So that is um, basic. Okay, you will just multiply the bases and you will add the exponents of the same variables. Next example, okay, using the power of power rule, a raised to 4 raised to 5. Anong gagawin? We will multiply the exponents. Okay, so pakita ko muna. Kung ganito daw, kung yung a raised to 4 raised to 5, kung yung 5 daw ang makakapagsabi kung ilang beses natin i-multiply sa a raised to 4, ibig sabihin magiging a raised to 4 times 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 a raised to 4. So yung limang beses natin minultiply si a raised to 4. Now, para hindi nyo na gawin yung ganito, using the power of power rule, we will just multiply the exponents. Okay? 
Pero kahit kung ito, kung titingnan nyo, kung i-add nyo lahat ng exponent using the product rule 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, parehas lang naman po siya dito kay 4 times 5. Kasi ang sagot lang naman yan is A raised to 20. Okay po. So you can use any method in multiplying monomials. Most especially kung variable lang yung nakikita nyo. Walang basis or numbers. Ginawa lang nating lima sa si A raised to 4 kasi nga meron siyang exponent na 5. So dito using the product rule, you can just add all the exponent. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. Or in simple way, you can just multiply 4 and 5 since meron naman tayong power of power rule. So yung makukuha yung sagot is A raised to 20 lang naman. Another example. Now dito meron tayong dalawang process kung paano natin siya sinol. So same process dito sa una. Tatlong beses natin imu-multiply si 2 squared. Okay, i-add na lang natin yung lahat ng exponent. Ganito. 2 plus 2 plus 2, that is equal to 6. So that is equal to 2 raised to 6. And then after that, i-multiply na natin siya ng anim na beses. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And that is equal to 64. Again. Minultiply natin ng tatlong beses si 2 squared since meron siyang cube. And in lang natin lahat ng exponents na 2. 2 plus 2 plus 2. So that is equal to 6. So naging 2 raised to 6 na siya. Pero hindi pa siya final answer. Kasi pwede pa siyang isolve. Kailangang i-multiply natin ng 6 na beses si 2. So that is equal to 64. Now, para mas madali yung pag-solve, no, you can use this Solution. First, nagagawin natin is i-multiply na natin or i-solve na natin agad yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. Itong 2 squared. Okay? So 2 squared, that is equal to 2 times 2 and that is equal to 4. After that, magiging 4 cube na siya. Okay? Hindi pa tapos kasi meron pang cube sa labas. So ibig sabihin, i-multiply natin ng tatlong beses si 4. So, 4 times 4 times 4, that is equal to 64. So, dito, mas napadali yung pag-solve natin since sinolve na agad natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. Okay? And that concludes our uh, discussion about multiplying monomials. Pero hindi pa dyan tapos kasi meron pa tayong multiplying two binomials. So, dito sa multiplying two binomials, we will use FOIL method and distributive property. So try nating isolve itong problem na to. The quantity of 2x minus 4 times the quantity of 3x plus 5. So using FOIL method, okay, bakit FOIL method? Actually, the word FOIL is just initials. For F, it means first term. And O means outer term. I means inner term. And L means last term. Okay? So, kaya siya natawag na FOIL method. Now, paano natin siya gagamitin or paano natin siya isosolve using FOIL method? So, ang gagawin natin, kukunin natin lahat ng first term and yun muna ang imumultiply natin. Alin yung first term? Yung unang um, monomial na nakikita natin sa dalawang binomial. So, we have here 2x and 3x. So, that is the first term. And for outer term naman, we have 2x and 5. So yan yung i-multiply natin for outer term. For inner term naman, yung dalawang number na nasa loob, that is negative 4 and 3x. For last term naman, lahat ng last term, itong nakikita nating constant which is negative 4 and positive 5. And then after that, isosolve lang natin yan. 2x times 3x, that is equal to 6x squared. Paano naging 6x squared? Kasi merong invisible 1 dito sa x. So, in natin siya 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2. Kaya naging 6x squared. Alright, so for outer term naman, we will just multiply the bases. So, 2 times 5 that is equal to 10x. Kakapi lang natin yung x. Inner term, negative 4 times 3x. Multiply negative 4 times 3, that is equal to negative 12x. Same with the last term. 
Negative 4 times 5, that is equal to negative 20. Now, since na-multiply na natin lahat ng first, outer, inner, and last term, ang gagawin naman natin is i-combine natin yung like terms. Okay, bring down lang natin si 6x squared since wala naman siyang like term. Then, i-combine natin si 10x and negative 12. I-solve natin siya. 10x minus 12x, that is equal to negative 2x. Then, bring down negative 10. So, the final answer is 6x squared minus 2x minus 20. Next, try natin i-solve itong same problem using the distributive property. So, ang gagawin lang natin dito, bakit natawag na distributive property? Gamitin natin itong first binomial na 2x minus 4. I-distribute lang natin itong kada monomial dito sa binomial. Itong 2x, i-multiply natin dito kay 3x plus 5. So, we have 2x times the quantity of 3x plus 5. Then after that, i-multiply din natin si negative 4 kay same problem which is 3x plus 5. Okay, so that is equal to negative 4 times the quantity of 3x plus 5. Unahin muna natin to. Multiply natin. 2x times 3x, the answer is 6x squared. And then 2x times positive 5, the answer is positive 10x. After that, itong pangalawa naman. Negative 4 times 3x, that is equal to negative 12x. And then negative 4 times positive 5, we have negative 20. So if you observe, parehas lang siya sa nakuha natin dito sa FOIL method. Nag-distribute lang tayo, minultiply natin si 2x dito kay 3x plus 5, and minultiply ulit natin si negative 4 kay 3x plus 5 din. So after that, Combine the like terms. Bring down muna natin si 6x squared. Then isolve natin si 10x minus 12x. So that is equal to negative 2x. Paano naging negative 2x? Kasi they have different sign. Positive si 10x and negative si 12x. So magsusubtract tayo. So 10 minus 12, that is equal to 2. And since mas mataas si negative 12 kasi kay positive 10, ginamit natin si negative sign. Kaya naging negative 2x. Next, bring down negative 20. And the final answer is 6x squared minus 12x minus 20. So that's how it works using the FOIL method and the distributive property. So let's have another example para mas lalo nating mamaster kung paano mag-solve using the FOIL method and the distributive property. We have here negative 5x plus 6 times the quantity of 3x minus 7. Using the FOIL method, again, we have the first term, outer term, inner term, and last term. Okay, multiply muna natin sa negative 5x and 3x. Negative 5x times negative 7. Positive 6 times positive 3x. And 6 times negative 7. Okay, solve. Negative 5x times 3x. Multiply negative 5 times 3. That is equal to 15x and add the exponent 1 plus 1. The answer is negative 15x squared. Outer term, negative 5x times negative 7. Just multiply negative 5 and negative 7. Since they are um, the same sign, ang gagawin natin is magiging positive na yung sign niya. Multiply 5 times 7 and the answer is positive. 35x. Naging positive because they have same sign. 6 times 3x, that is equal to 18x. 6 times negative 7, negative 42 is the answer. And then after that, combine the like terms. Bring down negative 15x squared and combine 35x plus 18x. The answer is 53x minus 42. And that is the final answer. I hope you are following the process. Using the distributive property, again, sabi ko nga kanina, multiply lang natin itong kada monomial, itong first term, and itong second term ng first binomial, dito sa second binomial natin. Multiply negative 5x times the quantity of 3x minus 7, and 6 times the quantity of 3x minus 7. So we have negative 5x times 3x, the answer is negative 15x squared. 
negative 5x times negative 7x, the answer is positive 35x. Dito naman sa pangalawa, 6 times 3x, the answer is positive 18x. 6 times negative 7, the answer is negative 42. And then after that, bring down negative 15x squared and combine the like terms. 35x plus 18x, the answer is positive 53x. And bring down negative 42, so the final answer is negative 15x squared plus 53x minus 42. So that's how FOIL method and distributive property works. So sana nakuha nyo yung process so you can... Um, easily multiply two binomials. Now, let's have another example here for multiplying polynomials. So, ito na yung two or more terms. So, using the distributive property, ang gagawin lang po natin is multiply natin si 6x squared y sa lahat ng term dito sa second expression. Okay, so we have 6x squared y times the quantity of 3xy squared minus 4x squared y plus 2. So, how do we multiply this one? So, i-multiply lang natin si 6x squared y kay 3xy squared. Ang gagawin, again, multiply the bases and add the exponents with the same variable. Okay, paano nangyari yun? Nakuha natin si 18x cubed y cubed. So, ang ginawa lang natin, we multiply natin si 6 times 3, that is equal to 18. And then, si x, tiningnan natin, multiply natin si x squared times x. Ibig sabihin, ia-add po natin yung exponent niya. So, 2 plus 1, that is equal to 3. Same with y times y squared. Or 1 plus 2, that is equal to 3. Next, multiply. 6x squared y times negative 4x squared y. Multiply the bases. 6 times negative 4, magiging negative 24. And then you will just add the exponent of the same variable, 2 plus 2 for x, that is equal to 4. And 1 plus 1 for y, that is equal to 2. Next, 6x squared y times 2. Multiply lang natin si 6 times 2 and just copy x squared y. So the final answer is, 18x cubed y cubed minus 24x raised to 4y squared plus 12x squared y. Okay? Last example. We have here binomial multiplied to a trinomial. Same process lang po ito. Imumultiply lang natin si 4x squared y kay 7xy squared minus 6x squared y minus 4x. Ayan. Same with positive 5 dito sa trinomial na ito. Okay po. Multiply muna natin itong dalawa. 4 times 7, that is equal to 28. And add the exponent of the same variable, ang makukuha nating sagot is 28x cubed y cubed. Inad lang natin si 2 plus 1 kay x and 1 plus 2 kay y. Next, multiply this to 4 times negative 6 magiging negative 24 and add ulit natin yung um, exponent ng the same variable. So, ang makukuha nating sagot is negative 24x raised to 4 y squared. Next, multiply this to 4 times negative 4 and then add the exponent of x, 2 plus 1. Makukuha nating sagot is negative 16x cubed y. Dito naman tayo sa pangalawa. 5 times 7 xy squared, multiply lang natin si 5 times 7, makukuha natin sagot is 35, then copy xy squared. Same process, imumultiply lang natin yung 5 dito sa lahat ng numbers, negative 6 and negative 4, tapos ikakopy lang natin yung variables and exponents natin. Now, 5 times negative 6, that is equal to negative 30, then copy x squared y. Same process. 5 times negative 4x, that is equal to negative 20x. Okay? So, final answer na ba siya? If meron pa tayong nakikitang magkaparehas na terms, kung magkaparehas yung um, variables and exponents, we will combine that. And since wala na tayong nakikitang magkakaparehas, that is the final answer. So, I know medyo mahirap itong multiplying polynomials or two or more 
terms, pero kapag nag-practice tayo using or answering more examples, mamamaster po natin yan. Okay? I hope you learned from multiplying polynomials using the FOIL method and distributive property. And the most important in multiplying polynomials is you must know the loss of exponent. Because if you don't know the loss of exponent, you will struggle answering um, problems in multiplication of polynomials. All right? And that is it for our discussion. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you learned something from our video and see you on my next video lesson. God bless us all. Bye-bye.